Warning! This show discusses craft brewed beer and is intended for viewers over the age of 21. Viewer discretion is advised. Drink responsibly! Well, it's time to belly up to the bar and find out what's on tap at Brews with Brian. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Brews with Brian, your weekly craft beer review podcast here on the Lotus Sports Network. Guys, just want to thank everybody for listening to the show. Again, continues to grow each and every week, which is what we want, and we uh, greatly appreciate that. Guys, this week we're talking a little Space Station Middle Finger, an American Pale Ale from Three Floyds Brewing. Um, you'll remember them from uh, Gumball Head, a really good beer. You can tell by the logo, they got a sense of humor, I think. Right here in this shot, you can tell it, you know, it's poured in a glass. Again, drank craft beer in a glass. Um, and it makes the experience better. The aromas, the taste, everything is just a little bit better in a glass. But guys, let's uh, get right into it. Uh, you're here for a re- review, and we'll, we'll do that. Guys, this beer pours a clear amber color with a large foamy white head uh, with some heavy soapy lacing. You can tell it in the glass right there in that picture. The aroma is of oranges, grapefruit, lemon, and piney hops. And then, you know, the main thing you're here for, how does this thing taste, Brian? Why don't you tell us? Tasting this beer, you get orange, lemon, grapefruit, white pepper, biscuity malt, and bitter piney hops. Now, the biscuit malt and stuff like that, all that you're going to get in a pale ale. Uh, No doubt. Sierra Nevada makes the greatest pale ale I've ever had. This one ain't far behind it. Uh, you get a medium body with medium carbonation, creamy mouthfeel with a nice soft finish. Guys, this is a, is a solid APA and American Pale Ale. It's easy drinking with nice mix of citrus and bitter hops. Um, it's a very light beer. Uh, this thing reminds me of you know summertime and uh, want to drink this beer on a hot day. You know, maybe watching some baseball. Uh, it's just what I would think. But guys, I, you got to find this beer. It's not available here in Alabama where I live. I had to I had to rely on um, a friend to bring me some, but he did because he lives up there where he can get it. And this is a, a great beer. I do prefer Gumball Head. Uh, it is a little bit of a different beer, but Gumball Head is pretty good. But Space Station Middle Finger, man, you just got to buy this beer for the bottle. I mean, look at it. Uh, they do have a sense of humor. But guys, before we go to Bill this week, we want to talk about this week's sponsor. That's right, guys. we got sponsors now. We're big time. This week's sponsor is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is here to help you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. Talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your convenience. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. Guys, all you got to do is fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you can get matched with a therapist in as little as 48 hours. So a quick turnaround, guys. Uh, you can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. Um uh, You can join the 3 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. Guys, you can get 10% off. uh, 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Lotus Sports Network. Check it out at the bottom right there. It's the link. Um, I'll repeat it again. uh, BetterHelp.com slash Lotus Sports Network. You get 10% off your first month. Uh, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Loaded Sports Network. Guys, you know, it's been a rough couple of years. Everybody needs a little bit of help every now and then. Check out BetterHelp. Uh, get 10% off with our link, man. We, we'd really appreciate it. Um, but make sure you check them out, guys. And now we're going to check out Bill, see what Bill thinks uh, about Space Station Middle Finger. Just knowing Bill's humor, I think he would love just the name and the artwork on the bottle. So let's see, we've got Bill here each and every week pouring a beer into the Brews with Brian mug. And Bill loves it, guys. Look at that. Who knew uh, a, a beer named Space Station Middle Finger Bill would love? So 
That's awesome, guys. All right, Bill, we'll see you next week, buddy. Still trying to get with him, hammer him down on that uh, bonus episode. Just can't get him in one area real quick. He sends me in his review on the beer every week, but he's hard to track down. Guys, here we are, Bruiser Brian Bar Trivia. I know it's a little small. looks like I need to work on my editing process. But anyway, the question from last week was, what country did the Pilsner come from? And it was the Czech Republic. The question for this week is, what city is the world's biggest beer festival held in? Not that hard, I don't think. One more time, guys. What city is the world's biggest beer festival held in? Hmm. Guys, we'll get the answer next week. I just want to thank everybody for listening. The show, like I said at the beginning, continues to grow each and every week. Each and every week. Um, you can check out the video show on YouTube and Spotify. Listen to it anywhere you find your favorite podcast. And guys, we hope we're a part of that group. Check out our sponsor for this week, betterhelp.com. That's betterhelp, H E L P.com slash Lotus Sports Network. Get you 10% off your first month. Uh, go to Lotus Sports Network, check out the store. There's a link on the homepage of the website. It takes you right to the store. Base F a t shirt, man. Help us out. We love it, man. I got the hat on right now. Base F a t shirt, man. But guys, don't forget to stop by by Bruiser Brian, where knowledge is always on tap.